They uh, shows the uh, automated transfer vehicle three as it is uh, preparing to be deorbited tonight. Otherwise, the crew on board today has been uh, doing a lot of work as plumbers. They have successfully restored the uh, waste uh, and hygiene compartment uh, toilet system and to uh, a good working functionality. We have some uh, video that was recorded from that work earlier, primarily done by Aki Hoshide, but also with some help from uh, Sonny Williams. Uh, they uh, had some problems with uh, flushing of the toilet, and uh, after tracking it down with the help of mission control, determined that it was a dose pump, which measures out amount of treatment fluid that starts off the process of uh, treating uh, the uh, waste in the uh, toilet and uh, getting it ready for disposition. Uh, they were able to replace that uh, uh, dose pump uh, so that the proper amount of pretreatment fluid is injected into the system to handle the waste and got that all sh squared away and uh, now the toilet is back up and working fine. Uh, so uh, the uh, crew on board the space station uh, doing a little duty as plumbers today uh, to keep their uh, orbital outpost working. Uh, just like laboratories here on Earth, you got to keep the facilities in good shape so that you can focus on your research. A reminder, we do have some uh, video that was recorded earlier today and yesterday as uh, Aki Hoshide in particular worked with uh, the waste hygiene compartment and the uh, pre-treat tank that's associated with uh, getting rid of that. Uh, let's take a look at some of that uh, video that was downlinked earlier and some of the uh, exchanges with mission control by the crew members doing the plumbing. For WHC, the uh, number of users on the counter is 4544. Okay, copy. And Mark, just a clarification. So after step six, which is a closeout, I uh, heard you say UPA? Yes, that's correct. Mark, uh, to go to UPA, there's a procedure, I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, could you walk us through it or give us a procedure? Yeah, Aki, okay, it's, six do it's IFM 6.3.807. As we take a look at this video that was uh, recorded yesterday, you can see the crew was having some fun with the uh, plumbing work that they were uh, in the process of and the conversation with uh, Marco Morrigan, who was the spacecraft communicator here in Mission Control at the time. Uh, working on the plumbing and the uh, toilet system known as the waste hygiene compartment on the space station, one of the less glamorous aspects of living in space.
and it kind of showcases the crew's uh, ability to be uh, jacks of all trades as they uh, work with uh, maintaining the space station, uh, keeping themselves healthy through uh, repeated exercise day in and day out, and uh, then making that possible for them to conduct the important research in microgravity that's uh, helping us uh, both go farther uh, out into space as we continue as explorers and to uh, bring those benefits back home to Earth. This work again was to uh, First of all, troubleshoot the problems the crew was having with the uh, toilet system aboard the space station. Uh, that work occurred yesterday, and then today the crew was able to successfully uh, replace the dose pump, which injects a certain amount of treatment into the uh, waste that's associated with uh, the crew's contributions. WHC is back to UPA, again, number of uses, 4544. All right, copy. Good work, you guys. Hey, thank you very much for uh, you guys for uh, backing us up and uh, making sure that we're doing the right thing, too. You're welcome. It's a pleasure working with you guys, and uh, just to make sure it is clear, you guys are go to use the WHC at this point. So you may have to take over. Some Secretary copies. The office is closed. Thank you very much. Now it's open for that other stuff, and I feel like I've been in there all day but never even used it. Yeah, I hear you. And that uh, completes a replay of uh, yesterday's uh, sometimes hilarious conversation regarding the uh, toilet system aboard the International Space Station and the work by Aki Hoshide and Sonny Williams to uh, get it back into working order. As we uh, wait for the crew to get ready to start this simulation, uh, let's take an opportunity uh, while the simulation screen is a little bit on the stagnant side to look at some more video that was required uh, earlier today as uh, Akihiko Hoshide uh, continued work on uh, replacement of the uh, dose pump that's associated with the uh, waste and, and hygiene compartment on board the International Space Station, essentially the uh, toilet that's on the U.S. side of the space station. Again, it's uh, identical to the toilet on the Russian side of the space station, so there's commonality among the different parts, such as this one that's being replaced by Hoshide. Yesterday's work by uh, Williams and Hoshide primarily was a troubleshooting activity to try to figure out what was not working properly with the waste removal system. And uh, once they had figured that out, it was time to uh, go in and replace uh, uh, this dose pump, which, uh, as mentioned, provides a certain measured amount of treatment fluid into the waste uh, before it uh, begins its uh, journey through the rest of the waste system. In that waste system, the uh, liquid wastes are uh, recovered and recycled into the drinking water that the uh, crew uses on orbit. Uh, as well as for the generation of oxygen and for uh, normal hygiene activities such as uh, washing up uh, in addition to uh, rehydrating food that uh, needs to be rehydrated uh, so that uh, the crew can eat it uh, and also rehydrating hydrating different beverages. Uh, as uh, some previous crews have described it, it's uh, yesterday's coffee becomes tomorrow's coffee and uh, so that recycling system helps minimize the amount of uh, resupply that's necessary in terms of water to the International Space Station. Nearly 80 percent of all of the water on the space station is recycled through this uh, system right now. For a look at how uh, the filtration systems that are associated with that recycling system uh, are uh, being used here on the ground to help uh, 
folks who may be uh, in a bad situation after disaster with uh, foul water supplies, you can go take a look at uh, www.nasa.gov station and look in the research and technology development area for the benefits of space. Uh, these filtration systems have been uh, developed into a portable uh, water uh, purification system that can be deployed in uh, various uh, locations uh, such as a previous uh, Pakistani earthquake location and the uh, Haiti uh, earthquake location when water supplies are fouled so that uh, they can provide pure drinking water from uh, those uh, water supplies uh, to the victims of those disasters. Again, that's www.nasa.gov station and you can go to the research and uh, technology section and take a look for the benefits uh, for humanity area. Of course, all the, all the uh, groundbreaking research aboard the International Space Station wouldn't be possible if the laboratory itself didn't function, and that's what we're looking at here as Ikeo Shady continues to work with uh, replacement of that dose pump on the uh, waste system for the space station. Without that, uh, the crew wouldn't be able to live and work aboard the space station and conduct that important research. And this video was recorded uh, about four hours ago today, and we're replaying it for you now.